Hi, good afternoon. This is Zorina Spice. Today I would like to show you I'm making some mutton curry. You know, mutton and lamb is the same thing, but the mutton is a little more mature sheep and the lamb is a little more younger sheep. But today I'm making a delicious curry with a nice spices and I would like you to see how I'm making it. So, this is the lamb I'll be cooking. Uh, lamb, mutton, whatever you want to call it, but um, I have it here, so I'm going to go wash it. I'll use some um, a little vinegar and you wash it nice and clean. I'll see you in a little bit. So, here am I gonna wash it? I'll throw a little vinegar in that, so I'm gonna wash it up nice and clean, and then you'll see in the next step. I, I have to drain it, so you'll have to drain a little. I finished washing the meat and I put some vinegar in it and some hot water and I wash it. But I want to show you real quick how I blanch it. I like to blanch the meat. The reason why I'm blanching the meat is any excess fat, too much fat, it's just gonna just take it out a little and it will make it clean. Okay, next step. So here I've got some uh, water here in my um, pan here I use like three cups of water. So I'm gonna throw the meat in to blanch just for a two minutes and that's done. So here I'm throwing in the meat for blanching. You know I wash it nice and clean so I'm just gonna blanch it a little. This helps to take out like it, it's real fatty you know so it's just a way of cleaning it out a little more. So it's finished. I am going to drain it now and then I'm ready to cook. So now I'll be putting in some oil to heat the pan. I have to fry up this, um, this mutton. So this I'm going to put a quarter cup of oil here and then I'll put in, in Okay, so now I'm going to throw in the oil is hot. I'm going to throw in the meat because I want it to fry down. Adding in some salt. This is uh, one and a half tablespoon. Now usually, you know, you take salt to taste. And I'll be cutting, um, stir it up now. Okay, so I'm gonna just turn it up here. I'm gonna just see a little. I'm gonna let it fry down to the oil, and then I'll be ready to add my um, my gam masala and the rest of the stuff. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so these are some of the seasoning I'll be using to cook this mutton. This is some, some cilantro. This is some basil, some dry basil because I don't have the fresh one right now. This here is celery. I chopped the celery up. I have some garlic, onion, pepper, some ginger, and some thyme. And this here I have a little, um, if you notice, I have a little star spice, piece of cinnamon, and some clove, and some allspice. So I have all these here. I'm going to grind that up, put it in the curry. So some of these are some of the seasoning I be using. So just want you to have a quick glimpse on these here. Now I put the meat to, to fry down a little, to boil and come down. So I'm going to check it now, see how it is. Okay. 
Oh, it's all nicely boiling here. So, well, the idea of this is to dry for the oil, then I'll be adding in my masala into it. So it's coming nicely. Got a little way more to go. Just giving an idea how it's coming. So now here I'm gonna show you um, how I mix my garam masala. I usually like to blend my masala. So I usually sometimes use a more than one. So this would use like two tablespoons of garam masala here. So I have like one tablespoon here. For that amount, I use a two tablespoon. Okay, I'm gonna also need use a little more from the other one, a different blend of uh, garam masala. So that's it. Just two tablespoon for that amount of meat. I also like to use some um, jeera, grind jeera. Also, you know, skewing. I'm going to put a little of that in here too. I will use about one teaspoon of that. I'm also going to use some thermic powder. I will use like a half a teaspoon of thermic powder. And I'll, I'll be using some curry powder. For that amount, I'll be using like three tablespoons of curry powder. I can use three tablespoons of curry powder. That's uh, equal to this here. And I sometimes put uh, some coriander. If you have, if you have grain coriander, you could add some. If you don't have, it's okay. But I like to use a little of that coriander powder. So here I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon of that inside. Now I also want to show you that I had the star spice and the clove, a little piece of cinnamon and the stars and the um, regular spice I throw in a little here. I'll be blending it with this masala. Actually they have some but when I cook meat I always put a little more. So here I'm going to mix all this up and I'll be ready to cook. But first we have to check the meat, see if it's fried down and come down. So here I check in on the meat to see how it's coming. It's frying down nicely. Okay, so here it is frying down to the oil. Because I need it to fry, come down to the oil. Now when it finished come down to the oil, if you want you could pressure it. If it's if it's kind of tough meat, you could have you have to pressure it because then you know it would be hard. So what I do when it fry down here and I would go pressure it but um, this looks like it's coming nicely it still has to cook so I don't think I'll be pressuring this so some meat tough and so you have to pressure it to get it soft and nice so the meat look all dry down to the oil and as I told you before if you need to pressure this is the time to do it so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna add my masala into this right now so I already have my masala here, which I already blend out everything. I'm gonna put it in. You have to add a little water so that it could be able to blend. Okay, so I'm gonna have to turn it up. So everything is nicely blending here. I'm gonna leave it, give it a little water and let it bungee now. It's like it's gonna come down back with the masala to soak. To marinate into the um, in the meat, so I'll be putting a little water to let it marinate and come down.
So I, I add a half a cup of water here for it to marinate. So here the meat is coming down to a dry to fry it up in the oil and this time it's already dry so I'll be adding in the seasoning. All the seasoning that I have there so I um, I blend everything up. This is it. I'm going to throw it in now. And this is going to give it such a nice flavor with the seasoning. Everything here. Now I'm going to um, put some water to buy, like three cups of water, so I'll be adding it on when this fry down so that it would not, um, you know, I like the hot water, it would not make the meat colder, so, so I'm going to blend this up and let it come down to the oil and we are ready to add the hot water on the boil. So here is, um, the mutton al bunje dong like fried dong not a word for it and um it's like it's on the aisle now so what i'm gonna do i put like a three cups of water to boil and i'm gonna add it in and put a lid on it and let it boil so this is already ready for the water so i'm gonna add the water here right now be nice and dry here And this is the water that is boiled, so I will add it in. You want to get enough water so you can boil and get tender. Or you could pressure it, but I'm not going to pressure it because it look okay. So I'm going to leave it here now. Let it boil long. Put a lid on it and let it boil. And um, I'll be adding some potato too. Maybe in a little bit so let it boil up first and I'll be adding in the potato but it's looking good very nice smelling good I'm checking this curry here see how it's coming it's there to dry down a lot here but you know you gotta go down more so this time I'll be adding in the potato so I already clean it cut it up I'll put it in here I'll let this boil down and then it's gonna get soft by the time it finish here. So I'm just checking to see how it's coming, looking good. Now this time I'll be adding in some fresh onion and some um, some pepper. If you need the steam pepper, this is the time if you like steam pepper like I do. <laughs> Now this is the time you put this pepper into steam and some fresh onion. So it's cooking nicely, just a little more I need the um the onion to steam a little and the pepper and then it's all finished looking good so I'm checking 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 it's finished now I'll be taking out a little you know you when you're cooking this food you always keep it on a medium flame to low flame so this way you're gonna cook nice it's finished right now so I'll be taking out some I finished make my lamb curry my mutton curry and I want you all to try this mutton curry if you if you know known where to get the spices you could get it at the Indian store the West Indian store market and the seasoning at any grocery store 
Anyway, I would like you guys to try my recipe and tell me how delicious it is. So I want to thank you guys for watching. You guys have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.